Well, last week I took a break from fishing down here on Kingsmead and I fished uh, Christchurch Lake in, uh, on the Lynchill Complex in, in Oxfordshire. And it was, a, it was a social for a mate. It was his 40th earlier in the year and he'd, he'd, he'd had a bad year with illness. So I thought I'd go down there and, and see him and, and see how he's getting on and see a few old faces as well. And it was, it was great to go on, the, uh, go on Lynch Hill. You know, I'd, I'd spent a good deal of time down there a good few years back. And I must have fished 200 nights, or 250 nights probably on, on the entire complex over the four years I was on there. And uh, that was my first time back there in nine years. So it was, it was interesting to see how the place had changed. Um, the Friday night was, was a bit manic for me. Um, I had to work all day, so I didn't get down there till late. And it, was a, it was a mad rush to get the rods out. Um, and I ended up still setting up in the dark, but I got them out. It wasn't great, but they were fishing. You know, I wasn't fishing properly, but I was fishing. But I was, I was more there for the social and to see a few old friends and have a couple of beers and, and, and a barbecue with everybody else. And yeah, Friday night was a great night. But Saturday, I decided to get set up properly and get the rods smack on the mark, get everything laid out perfectly. Uh, and I was fishing three rods. I was fishing one rod um, on, a, on a sort of silty spot, uh, just out to my right a little bit, but two rods on a nice gravelly spot. It wasn't very big, it was about the size of a oval brolly, probably a little bit smaller, but it was firm gravel within there. And I managed to get two rods on, on the spot, um, a pop-up rig and uh, a critically balanced uh, rig. And I fished about three and a half, four kilo over the top of it, of, of, of boilie over, over the course of the two nights. Uh, nothing happened in the evening, but we had, we had a couple more beers and it was good because I was right next to the barbecue area so I could leave my rods out as, as long as I wanted. So that, that was quite cool. Uh, so we had a few beers, uh, plenty to eat on, on the barbie. And uh, I got to bed at a reasonable hour, about midnight. Nothing happened during the night, but then just before dawn I, I received two beeps on the left hand rod. And as I sort of sat up in bed, I, I got another beep on it. I was fishing quite tight up because there's a bit of undertow under there. Um, and the, the clutch was locked up because there's a lot of weed. I didn't want the fish to run into the weed. So three beeps, and they're all forward beeps. I could tell by the, the sound of the alarm and the, 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 the colour of the LED that lit up. So I sat up in bed, started putting my shoes on, and then I got a fourth beep. So I ran down to the rod, felt the line, and it was, it was tight. It was a lot tighter than what I left it, and it was out of the clip. So I quickly wound down, lifted up, lifted up, and I could feel some resistance. It was not in the way. I was into a fish, which was, which was great. You know, after nine years away, you know, I'd, I'd got into one straight away. So I was playing it in a little bit. It sort of crossed the other line, um, had a few beeps, but I, I, I think I got away with it. I don't think it moved the lead and then it come back around. It weeded me for a little while, but eventually I managed to slip it into the net and um, got it, I had a look in the net and it was, it was a bit of a lump as well. I was really pleased. And I was, I was trying to have a look and I was, I was trying to see if it was a fish I've caught before, you know, in the previous time on there, but I don't think it was. Um, it was light, but half an hour later, so we, we, we got the fish out and it looked awesome in the daylight. It looked really nice. And it wasn't the fish I recognised, which was awesome news. You know, I was just saying the night before, it'd be great to catch one uh, that I haven't caught before. You know, one, one, of, one of the bigger fish, and this certainly was that. I weighed it in at 38 pounds, and it looked stunning. It had some big plated scales on its shoulders and uh, more of a scattering of, of fairly big scales further down. It was, it was a lovely fish. Yeah, so it's, it's a really interesting place to fish over the years. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I did the social weekend down there. Well, now I'm back on Kingsmead one. I've got the rods out in a swim called Trudy's. Never fished it before. Had a good lead around out there um, and found a couple of light looking areas, about 70 yards, sort of right in the bowl area. Um, and uh, I've got them out, put about 4k of bait between the two of them, um, just in a similar sort of area. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. See if, uh, see if we get lucky tonight. We'll take a look at this fella. He's a bit of a weird shape to him and not particularly scaly, but uh, I suppose that's why we like car fishing. They all comes in different shapes and sizes. Uh, this fellow weighed in at 28 pounds and uh, <coughs> it was part of a double take this morning. Literally just got him on the bank, unhooked him, in the process of weighing him, and the other rod ripped off. So it's been a nice productive dawn for me so far. So I'll slip this one back and I'll get the other one out. Well, here's the second one of the dawn brace and it's completely contrasting sort of shape and, and style of fish. I think it's actually a genetic leather. Uh, it's not a proper leather, not by the sort of heather the leather sense, but uh, yeah, I think it's a genetic one. He's got a few scales around his tail and a few top of his dorsal, but uh, I think a genetic leather has, has five rays on its anal fin, and this one certainly has, so yeah, a genetic leather and uh, not, a bad, not a bad little morning's work. Well, it was good to get that brace this morning. Um, the leathery one weighed in at 24.12. I couldn't wait at the time because I had the, the 28 in the sling, so I weighed it just before I put it back. And that was a nice fish. I quite like catching that one. It's something a little bit different. Um, so I've had both the fish from sort of out at about um, 80 yards range. I found a nice firm spot 
and I'm fishing one rod just on it and one rod just off it. I've got the wafter just off it and I've got a pop-up just on it, which, which might be a little bit strange to a lot of people, but I've, I've tried fishing sort of bottom baits um, on top of the gravel and the hook's coming back really, really blunt because the gravel is really coarse. It's like real sort of large bits of gravel um, as far as I can feel with the, uh, with the mark rod. So I'm fishing the pop-up on that just to keep the, the point of the hook away from the gravel. Um, so I'm hopeful of another bite tonight. I've got one more light left. And um, last night they started showing down to the left, down across there. And, and then it, as, as, as the sort of evening wore on and come dark, they were out there in that center sort of all around me. So I'm hoping they might do the same tonight, but uh, time will tell.